from Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout! And here to fit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are Ruth White, Pete Robinson, and Mark Diaz. And the one who bears the best could drive off in this LeBaron convertible. And now here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Tamarkin. Thank you. Well, thank you. I thank you, Jim Hackett, and hi, everybody. Welcome to Wipeout. You folks at home, stay with us. You have a good time, I promise you. Right now, we're going to talk to our three contestants, one of whom will get a chance to drive off in a brand new LeBaron convertible. Let's talk to him. We have Ruth with us. And Ruth, uh, you are from Jamaica? I was born in Jamaica, yes. Uh-huh. And uh, how long have you been here? In California, about yeah. 13 years. But I was raised in upstate New York. I've been uh -huh. there a while, too. Do you go back to Jamaica once in a while? Uh, not since I was 10. Oh, I'd love pretty. to win a trip to Jamaica. Well, Jamaica if, yeah, well, we'll see, <laughs> Ruth. We'll see. Good luck today. Thank you. All right. And Pete, how are you? Very well, Pete. And uh, Pete, you are the father of twins? That's correct. Uh, Sarah and Rachel. Girls. Two uh, girls. My name's Sarah. Pete, and I have twin girls. Isn't that amazing? I, I think it's in the name, Peter. I it think could, it's in the name. It must be in the name. It's in the name. Guinness Book of World Records coming up, folks. Good luck today, Peter. Thank you. Right. And Mark, it's Mr. Wizard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is this Mr. Wizard stuff? Well, actually, I work for a, a touring educational children's show, and it's written by the original Mr. Wizard, and I play kind of a Mr. Wizard in the You're show. the young Mr. Wizard. I'm, yeah, sort of. We're going to find <clears throat> out how good of a wizard you are, Mark, all right? I hope so. Ready to play the game? Yeah. Let's do it, gang. All right. You will soon see a board upon which there are 16 answers. 11 will be correct, 5 will be incorrect. Your job, find the 11 correct answers with the first answer worth $25, then $50, third correct answer, $75, and so on, until the final correct answer, which is worth $275. So there's some strategy to be dealt with during the game. A wrong answer, well, that's a wipeout. You lose your money and your turn, so you want to be very careful, because only two of you will make it to the challenge round. That third player won't. So the best of luck, and uh, stay out of third place, gang. All right, hot spot time. That's a correct answer has on it a prize that Jim's going to tell you about. Jim? Yes, sir. This time the hot spot is a real swinging spot because you'll spend a fabulous week in Houston, staying at the Westin Galleria, a luxurious hotel located in the exciting Galleria Mall complex, convenient to area attractions like the Johnson Space Center. You'll fly Southwest Airlines to Houston, experience the convenient flight and friendly service from Southwest Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over thirteen hundred dollars. to Houston, hot spot. All right, Ruth. You drew first position, so you have first crack at the board. You can pass if you so desire, but remember, you must make at least one selection before you pass. And as always, we will play until all the right or all the wrong answers have been revealed. All right, let's look at our board. Uh, I doubt if any of you have been around since the turn of the century, but we want you to tell us which of these were invented before 1900. Which of these were invented before 1900? Ruth, there are 11 correct answers. Just give me one to start. Uh, how about the telephone? Let's find out if the telephone was invented before 1900. Yes! Well done. $25, Ruth. Ten correct answers left. Want to keep going or pass? Play! play. <laughs> I'll play. Okay. Give me another one. How about Braille? Braille. Invented before 1900? Let's check it out. Yes, again. That's 75, Ruth. Nine correct answers left. Five wipeouts. Play or pass? I'll go one more time. Here we go. And let's say uh, nylon. Nylon. Let's see when that was invented. Before 1900? No. Oh, no. Uh, lost to 75, Ruth. And we go to Pete. Uh, nine correct answers left. This one's worth $75 if you're right, Pete. Uh, I'd like to think that the teletype has been around that long. You'd like to think that? Let's see if your thinking is correct. Teletype before no. 1900? No. Well, there's a shocker. Mark, Mr. Well, Wizard, to uh, you. $75, nine correct answers left. I'm going to have to say, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to say. I'll say uh, rabies immunization. Rabies immunization. <laughs> Let's find out if that was uh, invented before 1900. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Wizard, $75. Eight correct answers left. Play or pass? I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Play. And... Uh, I'm going to try, because I can't imagine living without one, the flush toilet. Ah, I wouldn't want to imagine it either. Let's see, flush toilet. Yes. You got it. Up to $175. Seven correct answers left out of 10. 
What do you want to do? I'm going to play. Play, okay, give me another correct one. And the next one is gonna be microscope, I think. Microscope, I think, let's see. Yes! This is the real Mr. Wizard. $300, six correct answers left out of nine. It's worth 150. The next one, if you're correct, you can pass if you so desire. I'm going to play one more time. Oh, I've heard that you don't know how many times. Here we go. And penicillin. Penicillin. Before 1900? Afraid not. Afraid not. That uh, is the end of the 300. We're over to Ruth. Six correct answers, two wipeouts left. This was worth $150 if you're right, Ruth. Well, I came for an automobile, so let's try automobile. Why not? Let's check the automobile out. Before 1900? Yes! The old hotspot. That trip to Houston, right there. Now the trick is to keep it. Remember, should you wipe out during the course of the game, the hot spot goes back up on the board behind another correct answer, and you have to be one of the two players to move to the challenge round to keep it. You have $150, Ruth. Player pass. I'll pass. I'll pass. I'm gonna pass. Pete, it's you. Five correct answers left, only two wipeouts. Give me a correct one. It's worth $175 if you're right. The pressure cooker. Pressure cooker. Let's find out if uh, that was before 1900. Whoa, feels like you're in it right now, and you got it. First place by $25, four correct answers left, only two wipeouts. It's worth $200 if you're right, or you can pass. I'm, I'm going to play one more, Peter. Afraid of Mr. That. Wizard, I don't blame you. All right, Pete. He's a scary guy, isn't he? I, I think that the, uh, the machine gun. Machine gun. Have been around that long. Let's find out about the machine gun. Yes! Handy little tool, $375, first place by $225. There are three correct answers left out of five, player pass. I'm gonna let Mr. Wizard take care Mr. of this. Mr. Wizard, you got it, up to you. Thanks and lot, uh, three Peter. correct answers, it's worth $225 if you're right, here we go. Well, I'm gonna go with the LP record. LP record, before 1900? Oh, no. All right, we're back to Ruth, there's only one wipeout left. Ruth, three correct answers, $150, you wanna keep that hot spot? Give me a correct answer. Three of them up there out of four. I think I'll say motion pictures. That's indeed what you did say. Motion pictures. Let's find out if it was before 1900. Yes! Kept the hot spot for the time being, 375, tied with Pete. Player pass, Ruth. I'm going to pass. Pass to you, Pete. Two correct answers out of three. Pretty good odds. Ooh. Worth 250 if you're right. If not, we got a different situation. Pete? Uh... I just wish I knew which of those might be right and which might be wrong. I'll, I think I'll guess that the iron lung, it Let's seems find like out an about appropriate thing. Ye old iron lung. Ye old Is that iron before 1900? Oh, no, a wipeout. And that means that, Ruth, you're going on to the challenge round, and we have a tie between Pete and Mark. And uh, that means, Ruth, you can relax because Pete and Mark are going to fight it out between the two of them to see who goes. The way we do this, we put up a board with 12 answers, eight of which will be correct, four will be wipeouts. We'll alternate between Pete and Mark, and the first one that wipes that will be gone. The other one, obviously, will go on to the challenge round with Ruth. All right, I'm going to uh, flip this coin. Pete, you call it in the air to decide who goes first. Here we go. Heads. Heads. It is heads indeed. Mm. Pete, you go first. And now, let's take a look at that board. <laughs> Name the titles which are novels by Agatha Christie. The title, titles are novels by Agatha Christie. Pete, you are first. Give me a correct answer. There are eight. Go ahead, Pete. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express. All right, let's see if that's an Agatha Christie novel. Yes, it is. Okay. Mr. Wizard, you're up now. Give me another one. Okay, uh, I'm going to try Death on the Nile. Death on the Nile. Let's find out about that one. A lot of things happening on the Nile. All right, back to you, Pete. How about the Ipcris? The Ipcris? The Ipcris, Ipcris file? file? Yeah. How about the Ipcris file? Let's find out. Oh, a wipeout. I'm sorry, Pete. And that means Ruth and Mark, you're going on to the challenge round. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the other correct answers up there. We had Evil Under the Sun, Hickory Dickory Death, and we also had, that was, uh, well, we also had Man in the Brown Suit, and we had Murder in Mesopotamia, and then there were none. Okay, Ruth and Mark will see you in the challenge round. Pete, you're leaving us with some nice prizes. I thank you for being with us. Stay you don't have to run off. We'll be back. We'll be back right after these words with the challenge round. Stay with us.
Now here's more fun on Wipeout. Take it away, Peter. All right, and we are back for the challenge round with Ruth and Mark. And Ruth, you have $375. Mark, you don't have any money, but you made it here. That's what counts. Ruth, we're going to put your money in a very safe place. Well, it's a place in any event. All right, big guy, big Jim, tell him what they're playing for in the challenge round. Oh, you bet it's a nice one, Peter, because the second round winner will be saying aloha to the mainland because they'll be headed to the Best Western Waikiki Plaza Hotel. With easy access to shopping in the world-famous beach of Waikiki, rooms feature island decor from the Best Western Waikiki Plaza Hotel. We'll fly you and a companion from Los Angeles to Honolulu aboard Delta Airlines' award-winning service. You'll also experience the exclusive Crown Room Lounge in the new Oasis Terminal, all from Delta Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $1,400. Hello, a trip to Hawaii. Sounds great. All right, gang, what you're going to see on the, up here is uh, tw 12 answers on the board. Eight will be uh, correct, four will be wrong. All right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to pit the two of you against one another. The first to get two boards will win this game, will win this round, and we'll get the trip to Hawaii and move on to the bonus round. All right? The way we're going to do that is, uh, Ruth, since you won the most money in round one, I'll ask you first how many you can get right on the board without wiping out. Then I'll go to Mark and see if he wants to increase the bid or call you on it. We'll go back and forth until we get to the maximum number of eight bids or until one of you calls the other. Now, once that player's called, he or she must give me all the answers they've bid correctly. If they miss on the way, the other player gets to jump in and only has to give one answer correct and then she or he wins the board. Are you ready? Let's take a look at the board. Here is a dry question. Pick out the names of the world's deserts. Ruth, there are eight correct up there. How many you think you can get right without wiping out? Four. Four. Good start. Up to you, Mark, to increase the bid or call her on the four. Five. I'm going to go with five. Go to five. Go five. Back to Ruth. You're going to go higher than five, Ruth? You're going to call him on it. There are eight correct. <laughs> I'll try six. Gonna try six, Mark. You're gonna go higher than six, big guy. I'm gonna let her try six. You're gonna call her on the six. Yeah. All right, Ruth. It's up to you. You gotta give me all six in a row. If you do, you'll win the first board, and that's real important. But don't stumble on the way. If so, Mark gets a chance to come in. All right, Ruth, give me the six. Sahara. All right, Sahara. Correct. Five to go. How about the painted desert? How about the painted desert? Let's find out. That's two. Four more to go, Ruth. Mojave? Mojave. Let's find out. Very good. You're halfway there. And we'll try the Algerian. Algerian. Let's find out. Oh, no such desert, Mark. There are five correct answers. If you can just give me one answer, you'll win the board. Big advantage here. All I need is one. I'm pretty sure the Gobi Desert. We're going to find out about the Gobi. Yes, it is. And you got it. You got Bruce stumbled. Mark jumps in and gets one. And you got the first game. Okay, let's take a look at the other correct answers up there. The Syrian desert. We have the uh, Great Sandy and, of course, Death Valley. That's a fun place to go in the summer. All right, uh, one for you, Mark. Nothing for Ruth. When we come back, Mark, all you need is one more game. Ruth, you need two when we come back. So it's going to be a challenge when we come back for the challenging end. After these words. Now more of Wipeout, and here's Peter. Uh, thank you. We're here to find out who's going to Hawaii and who's uh, going to get a chance to go into the bonus round. It's going to be Ruth or Mark. Right now, Mark, you're in the lead one to nothing, so we need to put up another board, and Ruth, you got to get into it. Here we go. Let's take a look. All right, Mark, you're up. Charles Schultz comic strip Peanuts is one of our favorites. Let's see if you can pick out the names of the characters from Peanuts. The characters from Peanuts. Mark, there are eight correct. How many can you get without wiping out? Mm, seven. Seven. Whoa. You got two things to do, Ruth. Either go to eight or call them on the seven. I'll call them on the seven. Call them on the seven. All right. Ruth doesn't think you can do it, Mark. If you can, you will wind up winning the board, and you'll get the trip to Hawaii in the bonus round. If not, Ruth can jump in. Mark, I need all seven in a row. Here we go, big guy. Okay, let's Mr. see. Mr. Wizard's going for it. Uh, well, we're starting off easy with uh, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Let's find out. All right, that's one. Six to go. And a little bird's Woodstock. Woodstock. We're going to find out about that. That's two. Five to go. And the piano player, Schroeder. Schroeder. All right, let's find out. You really know him pretty well. Four more to go, Mark. So far, so good. Uh, well, Lucy. Lucy. Let's find out about Lucy. Yes. You have three more. 
<laughs> uh, and her brother with the blanket was Linus. Linus, all right. Let's see. Yes. All right, Mark, you have two more. Two more. Uh, I'm going to play it safe first and go with Pigpen, because I know he's one. Okay, Pigpen, let's take a look. All right, Mark, here it is. You got one correct to go. There are two up there that are right. There are four wipeouts. Be very careful. If you give me the correct one, you'll win the board, you'll win the round, you'll get the trip to Hawaii and go to the bonus round. This is a big one, Mark, so give it to me. Be very careful. Okay, he's not on very often. I think he's an old character, but Sherman was let's a character. Let's find out about Sherman. Yes, you did it. Seven in a row, Mark. Two to nothing. Congratulations. The only one, the only one you didn't, uh, you didn't have to get was Frida. You got them all. Congratulations to you. And Ruth, you did real well. You got yourself seventeen hundred and fifteen dollars worth of cash and prizes. And uh, Thank you, our best time. wishes. Thanks for being with us. And uh, Mark, come on over here. We're talking, we're talking trip to Hawaii. And we're talking a brand new car. Yeah. We come back after these words. Stay with us. Now, once again, here's Wipeout and Peter Tamarkin. Uh, thank you. We're back with Mark. Mark, you have the trip to Hawaii. Uh, you're going to have to fly there, obviously, but uh, you'll probably have to drive to the airport first, won't you? Yeah. I got something for you. Take this out. It's the new Chrysler LeBaron Highline Convertible. Featuring power top, power windows, and a new standard safety bag for the driver. Available in nine colors with coordinated interior vinyl from Barish Chrysler Plymouth. Uh, all right, you can do pretty well with that. I, I could manage to drive yeah. it. Yeah. I figured you could. Yeah, I mean, no. We're going to make it relatively easy for you. We're going to give you a question. They're going to put 12 answers on the board, six of which will be correct. Your job, find the six correct answers. You drive away in the car to the airport, and you're off to Hawaii. Not too shabby. Um, what we're going to do is give you a category, but first we'll give me a category because I'll show you how you do it. My category is royalty, English rulers. And here come my 12 answers. I want to want to go to the board and select six answers I think are correct. I do that by touching the bars that surround the TV screens. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I tried seven, I could stay here all day. It won't go on. I can only choose six. I come back over to the red button. I hit it to see how many I got right. I got two right. I'm going to want to improve on that. So I'll go over and change any or all of those I'm not sure of. But in order to do that, I must turn one off before I can make a new selection. So I don't think Andrew's right. I'm going to turn him off. And I think maybe Elizabeth is right. Turn Elizabeth on. I'll run back over here, hit the buzzer, and see if I've improved. I have. I've now gone to three, and I'll keep doing that until I get to six. In your case, you're going to get a brand new category. It'd be silly for us to give you that one. Well, I wouldn't mind. I figured. We'll give you, <laughs> give you a brand new one, and uh, we're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it. Are you ready? All yeah. right. Let's uh, take a look at your answers first. All right. Mark Twain did a lot of writing about the Mississippi, so let's see how much you know about Old Muddy. Six of these cities are found along the Mississippi. Which six? Along the Mississippi. Along the Mississippi. You ready? 60 seconds. Go! All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. How many did you get right? Four. Well done. 46 seconds. Forty seconds. That's six. Four still. 33 seconds. That's five. That's five. You gotta get one more. That was six. I'm sorry. You did fine. 22 seconds. You're at four. 19 seconds. That's, that's six, 15 seconds, four, 14 seconds, 10 seconds, seven seconds, three, six seconds, five, four, three, two, one, four, oh, you sure gave it a run for, run for the money, I tell you, well done, let me just go over and show you which ones are correct, uh, do that, it's, Have. There they are. Easy for me to do. I know the answer. <laughs> we'll be back with that for these words.
you didn't get the car, but you've got that trip to Hawaii worth Wonder fourteen hundred and sixty dollars. You're going to Hawaii, and you know the kind of guy I am. I'll drive you to the airport. Okay, right. thanks a lot. Until yeah. next time, this is Peter Tamarga for Wipeout. Thanks. Bye bye. Some member of our studio audience may receive Roy Hill's charming secretary desk and hutch will add beauty to any room. Quality crafted of solid oak featuring drop lid and drawers with shelves from Roy Hill. Some of our departing contestants will receive Now Lee has made the French manicure easy and affordable with Lee Press-On Nails, the French manicure. And Q-Tips, there's no softer, safer swab for your family because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. And the next generation in salon-style nail lengthening. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. Brush-on-like polish. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails.